Yo, what's up everyone? How you doing? Welcome back, my brothers and sisters. We have... Uh, did I really just say that? But yes, well, brothers and sisters is right. So welcome back. We have a new series, something I started last FIFA, but I never got around to doing it. And uh, now we, I have. So it is called Perfect Pair. Now, it's kind of like Perfect Partnerships, what I started a while ago. And uh, yeah, so pretty much it's where I find two of the two players that just play absolutely amazing together. Usually it's like two strikers, two defenders, two blah blah blah, but I mix it up. Sometimes it can be a left wing and a left back connecting well with each other. So for this one, it is a striker and a midfielder. Now, this is um, a special edition because it's a le legend edition. There will be many of these, of course. This is in the 1 million bracket, so some of you might be able to afford it. I didn't want to do something crazy like Hullet and Pele or something like that because, yeah, even I can barely afford that. So we're going to do it like this. These guys cost 1 million between them, although you can get them on a good day. I mean, sometimes I've seen uh, Larson, especially on a Wednesday, go down to like 400, 405. Deco, I think, stays at 510, 520 on those days as well because he's a fantastic player over Overall. and um, yeah so you could easily get them for a mil just take your time and uh, they are just perfect together they played fantastic um, great understanding be between each other look at Larson here straight from kickoff you can see he has a good you have a good feel when you use him on the ball and uh, I really like that about him and his finishing is actually quite exquisite although that was not the best example they link really well together and the good thing about someone like Deco and Larson is because when Deco actually gets a chance to chip it through or cross it Larson is there to actually bury it in or head it in as well because he has I don't know, I think he's really great in the air as well, but that's a fantastic strike there from Deco. As you can see, we're destroying with the opponent already, six minutes in. And uh, yeah, so some people have asked, why do I actually um, keep that uh, in the top left where it says less smash, 1,000 likes, etc. A lot of people have been talking about people getting banned because of EA catching your club name and blah, blah, blah. And uh, although I personally don't believe all that stuff, but... I don't know, I just don't want to take the chance since I've opened quite a few, spent quite a bit on packs this year, but if you guys want me to remove it, just mention down below in the comment section. I highly doubt it bothers uh, a lot of you, but I really care about my subs, so your opinion matters. That's a really uh, good chance from the opponent just skimming the post, uh, the crossbar. But yeah, let's get back into it. So Deco, I really like him because his ball control is really great, so when he's shielding the ball, um, he can just, uh, Larson makes the run and he plays the ball through to Larson. They have great understanding with each other. And it's really great that they have uh, green links as well. That really matters uh, from the passing point of view. I really uh, prefer green links, obviously, than orange links. Some people don't think it makes a difference, but I think it does. That was a really good shot there from Larson. Again, Larson's shots outside the box are really good, especially his finesse shots. And Deco's shots outside the box um, is also really good. But I think Larson's just beats uh, Deco on the finesse front. But um, just outside the box, just generally in that midfield role, it's Deco's world. He'll do everything. He'll split the defense open and give um, time for Larson to bury it. And as you can see there, Deco outside the box smashes that in as well. Finishing the game off 5-0. Moving to the second game, a uh, nice little hybrid there. And this is a subscriber as well. Um, I'm thinking about doing that series, bringing you about Battle of Expensive Teams. No, sorry, Battle of uh, Cheap and Sweaty, where you'll bring, uh, for example, I'll make the rule at 50k or 40k even, and the winner will get a certain amount of coins back if they beat me, and if you lose, I will have to think of something uh, you'll have to do for me. Usually we do something related on the voice note. At one point it used to be you have to sing the gayest song I could think of and just kind of embarrass yourself. It's not really a big deal, but if you guys want to see that again, uh, mention down below in the comment section. It gives you a chance to win some coins and play with me and interact with me and talk to me in the party as well and uh, have some fun at the same time. That sounded totally dirty. I take that back, but yeah, it was really fun doing that series. We can test different hybrids, and it also allows people to uh, try out these hybrids as well if they like them. I can also, also mention their price uh, tag in the uh, description. Now, look at this. 3-0 again. Larson and Deco just thumping people left and right. I think it's a great partnership. If you have coins for it, I really recommend you to go for it. It's a 1 million uh, partnership. It's going to cost you a bit. You can have a cheapish team around him. You don't have to have the legends I have in the back. It's not a big deal. The next one should be around 100k, so it'll be more affordable. Then we'll go to maybe a, a 10k. I have a really good 10k one in mind. I don't want to give it away just yet, but it's going to be sick. I hope you guys have enjoyed this uh, first episode of Bringing Back Perfect Pair. If you like it, uh, just let's try and smash 500 likes. That'll be awesome, even though it says 1,000 up the, at the top. i got to change that. But yeah, as always, subscribe to my channel if you're new. Have a wonderful day. Wait, before we end it, look at that. Got to give credit to the consolation goal as well. And I don't know why I'm ending it. There's still a one or two more attacks. But yeah, as I said, like, 
Um, you can make some decent teams around these two. It doesn't have to be too expensive. And they really played well. I'm really, Deco's my favorite legend this year. I really got to bring out some special tribute video to him. I think that'll be really sick as well. Tomorrow's video, face cam pack opening guaranteed. And the reason I took some time and uploaded this first is because I opened a few more packs. I'm really sorry about that. As always, have a wonderful day. Peace.